the member for Holt. Mm, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise tonight to raise an issue that I actually raised during the federal election campaign, and uh, one that I note that uh, the member for La Trobe has mentioned uh, more recently. And it relates to uh, what I would call uh, a spate of home invasions, carjacking, and gang-related activity. And for me, this journey had started a long time ago with regular briefings, as the member for La Trobe would know, by the police about local issues of the day. And increasingly started hearing stories about uh, carjackings, predominantly then in the Berwick area. But it really was driven home to me when I was door knocking during the 2016 federal election, and I door knocked a home in Cranbourne East. And uh, it was a Sunday morning, albeit, so uh, when the person didn't answer the door, I was uh, not, not surprised about uh, that at all, given that it was a federal election campaign, or the start of it, of a very long federal election campaign, as you would know, Mr Speaker. And, uh, and so just as uh, uh, my uh, adviser and I were about to turn away from the door, a woman came out of the door because she actually then had recognised via the camera that she had who I was. And she apologised profusely that she didn't actually answer the door. But the reason why she didn't answer the door was the key to a big issue in our region. She didn't answer the door because she was terrified, given the spate of home invasions, that the person that was knocking on the door could be one of those people. That was the level of fear that is in elements of the community as a consequence of the activity that's occurring in our region. And as the member for La Trobe would know, then when I became aware of these things, story after story after story in our region about what's happening, and Mr Speaker, it is deeply disturbing. As an example, a family in Hampton Park that was raising funds for the REACH Foundation uh, apropos of nothing, right at the end of the phone conversation where we were assisting the good people of Hampton Park in the noble cause, mentioned that one of their sons, whom I'd actually given a Community Spirit Award to on Australia Day, had been attacked by a they had identified that as a member of the Apex Gang 12 months ago. And as I said, there were just stories after stories that I began to hear about as I searched for people that had been. Uh, subjected to attack and home invasion. Uh, I'm aware that there is obviously the Victorian Police are doing a lot of work on this issue through Oz Operation Cosmos, which is a statewide crackdown on violent crime to keep Victorians stray, um, uh, safe. Officers made over 130 arrests since the operations have commenced, and they've carried out specific raids in Dandenong, Berwick, Narry, Wine and Cranbourne to bring certain individuals and members of the Apex Gang to account. Despite the best efforts of Victorian police, however, I'm being constantly informed of new acts of these sorts of crimes over recent months. In one instance, on the 2nd of June, vandals went on a 12-car uh, wrecking spree, uh, smashing wing strings and uh, carving apex into car panels and, uh, in Hallam and Narry Warren. And on the 3rd of July uh, 2016, a Highview family was shaken by a terrifying home invasion. There are numerous other uh, accounts that I could read in, but I'm actually running pretty short of time. As a result of the concerns, I conducted a forum on the 26th of June 2016. It was a community safety forum at the Narry Warren Bowls Club to discuss with local residents their concerns and find ways of assisting improved community safety. I'd particularly like to thank the members of the Victorian Police and the local Indian Malayali um, Malay, Malay community, I should say, apologies for the mispronunciation, and those members of the community who, despise, despite their distress, shared their personal experiences with, um, of experiencing the crime. We certainly had heard from family after family ongoing issues about what the uh, subsequent events following the attacks, insurance issues that they were facing and not getting their cars replaced after car thefts, and the ongoing trauma that family members experienced. One of the difficulties that we have in an outer suburban growth belt is that we actually just don't have enough police. According to the Police Association, the desired ratio is for every one police officer, 980 people. The current ratio in Casey is one police officer to every 1,873 people. So there is a massive under, uh, I guess you'd say, resourcing of police officers that has to be addressed. I will continue to continue to speak about this issue in the House 
But as a member for the tribe uh, knows, I will continue to work with all elements of the community until we can alleviate this terrible concern about, in the community about these home invasions, carjackings and assaults.